guys, my name is Emma from Journey to the Organized Home. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. On my channel, I'm going on a journey to the organized home because honestly, I need to get my shit together. I'm learning some super handy tips and tricks along the way. I'm here to share it all with y'all. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out a hack that I read about on the internet, which is supposed to get rid of all of those super old, gross, crusty coffee tea stains from inside your mugs with almost no effort whatsoever. And you know those are the hacks that I am all about, baby. This is my Yeti coffee mug, which I totally love. I got mine as a birthday present and I use mine every single day. So I've never actually had this happen to me before with a mug. Like I've never had a mug look so disgusting and so gross. And I've only had this mug for six months, but I do use it every single day. I have a theory that because it's a Yeti and it keeps stuff in there so hot for so long, I'll often make a tea and then I'll leave it for a long, long time and then drink it and then leave it for a bit longer. Sometimes I'll even forget about it and leave it overnight. And I also use two tea bags in my tea. So I'm sure that doesn't help either with the staining, but I've never had this happen to another mug before. So I'm going to say that this has something to do with the Yeti being so good at keeping things hot. So I bought these denture cleaning tablets from Woolworths. They were $3.50 for the packet. Now, for this hack, basically all you have to do is get some denture cleaning tablets, put it in the cup, and then fill it up with hot water. Makes sense, right? Let's do that. So guys, I just want to show you, this is Benny's Yeti. So this is what his cup looks like. This is what it should look like. Now, don't judge me, but this is mine. So that is like black death in there. You can see there's like a couple of specks down the very bottom. That's from when I tried to clean it with baking soda and vinegar. So you can see what good that did. But seriously, this cup is so gross. So just to compare the two, that's what they both look like side by side. And I'm hoping when I finish this hack, this one will look like this one. So, yep. Disgusting. So I've got my denture cleaning tablets here. I'm just going to open these up. So they're in little packets like that. Now, I'm not sure exactly how many you're supposed to use, so I'm just going to chuck a few in there. So let's just go one, two. Oh, they're minty fresh. <laughs> it's kind of gross, actually. I don't know why. Four, five. That's four. Sorry, that's not five. That's four. So I guess we'll start with that. And see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just slowly pouring this in because it's starting to like bubble up quite a bit. So you can see that it's still bubbling up. It's still going. So I might not pour any more water in just yet. Hopefully it doesn't overflow. So put a little bit more in. Now let's just give that a bit of a stir. So it's gone down quite a lot now, so I'll put some more water in there. Right to the tippy top. So we'll leave this for about five minutes and then we're gonna come back and tip it out and show you what it looks like. Hey guys, how you doing? So I didn't wanna move the camera. So here I am, I'm just about to clean out this Yeti cup and I've got my gloves on because I put hot water in there. Ew. Because I put hot water in there and Yeti keeps water really, really hot. So don't wanna burn my hands. And also if this really does lift everything off that cup, I hate to think what it'll do to my hands. So gloves on for this one. So it's been about five minutes. Let's see if this is gonna do anything. So I might just give it a quick little scrub. So just give it a quick scrub. So I can, it's still crap at the top. So I guess I'll empty it out and see what it looks like inside. Can you see in there? So it still looks pretty black, I'm not gonna lie. I'll give it a quick scrub and see if any of that stuff lifts off. Okay, so. It looks pretty much the same in the camera. Let me just get the torch to see the, so I can show you the difference. So there is a little bit less crap stuck to the outside now, but it definitely still is not clean. But it has done a little bit of something. So there's probably where you can see it the most. And it has sort of lightened in color slightly. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this again and I'm going to use a couple of more tablets. So let's go a packet and a half. So I'm going to go six tablets all together and I'm going to try it again and maybe leave it for 10 minutes this time. So round two, one, two, three, four, one, two. You know what? I'm just going to stick another two more in there. Why not? So eight. So now I'm going to leave it for, let's say, 10 minutes and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like again. I might have filled this one up just a little bit too much. Okay guys, round two. Just going to give it a scrub. Okay, so that's what I was expecting the first time. So can you see all of that gunk coming off? That is what I was after. So taken a couple of times. I'm going to empty this out so you can see what it looks like inside. So that was really hot even with gloves on but look at all that crap that has come out of there. All right that's more like it. Sorry the light's gone a bit funny in here but Look at that. Okay, so that's really done it, that second time. So I'm gonna give it a quick scrub and see what it looks like all fresh and clean after that. Oh yeah, far out, this is so satisfying. Hot diggity damn. So there's just a tiny bit left on the side that I'm trying to get off. So now you can see just how clean it is in there. Oh yeah, look at that. There's still a little bit, tiny bit of stuff on the sides, but I am super happy with that far out. It's a totally different cup. So this is Benny's, Benny's Yeti that, is, that was new. And this is my old gross one. And look how much better that is now. So you almost wouldn't know which one was which now. I feel like this one actually looks cleaner than this one. That is absolutely amazing. So needless to say, guys, this hack definitely works. Look how clean the inside of that cup is. You might have to do it a couple of times. Um, otherwise, maybe when you do it the first time, try using eight dishwasher tablets and leave it for about 25 minutes. That's how long I ended up leaving this one for. Honestly, just because I started doing something else and I got preoccupied, but look at that. Denture cleaning hack for dirty mugs definitely, definitely works. That's a winner. So guys, just finished doing the denture cleaning hack for this most disgusting mug ever and look how clean that hole is, man. How good is that? Super stoked with this hack. So I would definitely suggest if you are doing this one at home, I would use at least eight denture tablets and leave it for about 25 minutes. So I think where I went wrong the first time was not using enough denture tablets and not leaving it in for quite long enough. So I did just notice that there is a tiny bit of discoloration here. So one thing I would suggest if you are doing this specifically for a Yeti mug or any mug that has like a plastic coating on the outside, try not to let any of the bubbles that come up from the denture tablets, try not to let any of that get onto the actual plastic. I'm not too bothered about it, but definitely something that I'm going to pass on to you guys so that you don't ruin any of your mugs or do anything to any of your mugs by getting that denture cleaner on it. It's obviously super strong if it's gotten everything out from the inside of this cup. That's why I also recommend using gloves. And I know I did it for the reveal. I poured the hot water out onto my hand so that you could see it. Definitely don't do this at home. The water in here was hot AF when I did that and my hand is still kind of sore even though I was wearing the gloves. 
So definitely don't do that. But yeah, super stoked with this hack. Look at the inside of that cup. You can't be more happy than that. So this one definitely, definitely works. This is a hack that you can put to use on your dirty mugs and cups at your house. 10 out of 10, would recommend. If you got something out of this video, please consider giving me a like. It really helps me know what sort of content you guys enjoy. And I just love making these videos for you. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. But as always, no pressure. You do what you want. You subscribe, you don't subscribe. It's all good, baby. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!